Sometimes we think we just have to do something big to make a difference, but one man in mesquite proves that you can do a lot by giving just a little. And as Sean Gigi shows us this morning, a whole lot of kids will one day be grateful that he did. Here is today's Gigi Bites. Nearly all of the 580 kids at Florence Elementary in Mesquite can't afford to eat lunch. Yes. At least, Principal LaDonna Gulley says it used to be that way. Mm hmm If not for a senior citizen who reads the newspaper. After. 84-year-old Don Douglas lives down the street. Yeah. Don has pretty much lost his vision. Legally blind. But through a projector, he can still read the newspaper. My mom left. And about a year ago, he read a report that said a lot of local students don't get enough to eat. I still get upset when I think about kids being hungry. It bothered Don so much that he marched right down to Florence Elementary and demanded to speak with someone. And he walked in here and he said, I need to see the principal. So we explained to him, you know, our situation that, yes, unfortunately, we do have students here that, you know, are not able to eat. And he just said he literally went into his billfold and pulled out $100 and said, I'm giving you this money. And this is to make sure that every single student in your building has the opportunity to eat. That was last August. And he's done it every month since. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keep in mind, Don's not a rich man. He survives off Social Security, and the money he gives to feed those kids comes out of his retirement. They can't learn when they're hungry. Don says it's worth every penny. If everybody chipped in a little bit, see, then no kid would go hungry. At this point, I must admit, Don really didn't want to go on camera. He told Principal Goley he wasn't seeking recognition. But then he paused and asked her, if I do this interview, do you think it will encourage other people to help these kids? That's not an issue. Principal Gully smiled and nodded. And Don said, OK, I'll do whatever it takes. And hopefully now, so will we. John Giggy, Channel 8 News Daybreak. Yeah, I mean, how well do you do it? At work, if you're if you're hangry in the morning trying to get stuff right, done, right? Right, and don't you love how he wanted to do the interview not because he wanted the credit, not mm -hmm. because he wanted the, the fame and exposure, but he wanted to know if it would do good. So hopefully, you all will be inspired to do something where you live. And if you have an inspiring story that you want to share with Sean, you can send him an email at giggybites at wfaa.com.